that free program to Armageddon, which I think is a bit on the nose given. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, opens up with three fantastic quads. The quad loops a little bit of a struggle, but hangs on to get into that uh, Euler triple sow, loving all of his jump sellies near the end. Uh, Guila Casa, Mamma Mia, the Italians love it. They go crazy. Um, and to be honest, after his program, I'm thinking he's gonna like smash through at least Kolyata, who's in front of him, mm -hmm. but he didn't. And so I was a little bit like miffed, but he did lose a lot of levels on spins as well as some cues on jumps, which does, I think, require a mandatory negative uh, grade of execution. You know, results aside, when you see a skater go and do that at a Grand Prix at home, what a moment for the guy, you know? He, he w and he was living it. I love to see that. I don't really care what place he came in. It was just, it was such a great moment for that skater to, to have, you know, something he'll always remember. His jumps were amazing. He had a ton of firepower. Um, he still needs to work on, you know, his skating skills in his second side. Uh, artistically, that stuff will come. Also, he is rumored to be practicing a quint loop. Wow. So... What an interesting choice, too. I know, I know. I guess if you, you know, if you can get into that air position right off the edge, you're right there. It's essentially like a jumping backspin, so... I would love to see that. I would love to see that. Let's see if he tries it at the Olympics. It would be yeah. cool just to... And I would lose my mind, even if he fell. Um, but but of course, uh, after he was sitting in third after his skate, and we were thinking, ah, oh, he's not gonna get the medal. Uh, Boyang Jin, who was actually first in the short program, skating one of the best programs we've seen from him in a long time, I think since Spider Man. I love that program. Um, but then just has an abysmal free yeah, skate, dropping tough. to ninth in the free, seventh overall, yeah. but giving he Daniel just, that. He just didn't look awesome Jin's thing. body, you know. He was he just. <laughs> He wasn't feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel for the guy. He didn't do yeah. well at Worlds last year, uh, only securing the one spot for China for the yep. Olympics, which will probably be his. I just really want him to skate two nice programs uh, because mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a fan of uh, Boyang. And he can. He's got, he's got great jumps. He's got a lot of great qualities. He's exciting when he's on. He really feeds off the crowd. Um, hopefully he can, you know, pull that free program together and kind of get back into a groove. So that's it for the men for the Grand Primo d'Italia. Tell us what you think in the comments. Will Yuma be able to compete with the Nathans and Yuzus of the world? Will Grass will do a Quint Loop? What do you think? Put it in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and please be on the lookout for our other recaps for the other events at Gran Premio d'Italia.